Here it is, the Matt Doomba hit on Evgeny Kuznetsov. And I don't want to find something wrong with this hit. I want you to know that. I'm going into this. I want to see checks like this. This is a great opportunity for a massive open ice check. And obviously you're going to say, well, that's what we got. But there are things that were wrong. This could have been done so much better. And you would have had pretty much the same result without the danger created. This is one of those ones, I said it was going to be a difficult one to look at, and it's, it's one of those very important ones because it's the difference between body checking and hitting. And I want to see more body checking in the game without hitting. My whole catchphrase is I want to put the hockey back in hitting. And to me, this isn't really a hockey play. This is more of a predatory hit. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Just please bear with me here. The first thing I'm going to look at, just because it's such a debate, is whether or not there was any head contact, or more importantly, whether the head was the principal point of contact, since that's what the NHL rulebook states. It doesn't matter what is hit first, it matters what takes the brunt of the force. Does the head take the brunt of the force here? And many people are arguing this was shoulder on shoulder. I'm going to show you that it isn't. Watch Kuznetsov's head here. Watch it move independently of the body. That's what they look for, right? The shoulder comes in. First of all, Dumba's shoulder is above Kuznetsov's shoulder. This is not shoulder to shoulder. This is Dumba's bicep forearm area hitting Kuznetsov's shoulder. Dumba's shoulder goes over top of Kuznetsov's shoulder and hits him in the head. And you can see the head move independently of the body right there to about that point. Look at it move. That head is moving by itself. Now the shoulder is starting to go as Kuznetsov's left arm caves in in front of him and pushes his upper body. So that's why the head doesn't get fully blown through, is because he does get a lot of Kuznetsov's body, but that is shoulder directly to head. The head doesn't take the brunt of the force because luckily the body reacts in time and the head falls away. But that head is taking the initial point of contact. It's not shoulder to shoulder, so you can't call it shoulder to shoulder. Was there enough head contact for it to be ruled an illegal check to the head? Well, that's debatable, but this is not the perfect clean check that everyone keeps saying it is. So was there head contact? Absolutely. Is there enough head contact to say that it was the principal point of contact? That's debatable. What isn't debatable is that Doomba launches. Now, he doesn't fully jump. His feet don't come fully off the ice. It's not a giant jump, but it's not the foot-planted proper body check that you want it to be. It is a launch. It's a debatable borderline launch, but it is a launch. Too many people are looking at this check saying, this should be in the training videos for showing players how to hit. It's the perfect textbook hit, and it is not. I've already shown you that it's not shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder the perfect textbook way. And here is a launch. His back foot comes off the ice because he's driving and changing direction. And his right foot kind of rotates. He keeps his toes forward and it kind of rotates a little bit. He's not putting any weight on that foot, really. All of his force is being pushed into contact off that back leg. It's not a glide. Look at him rotate and roll off his feet. That's not from momentum from the check. That's him pushing himself into Kuznetsov's body and trying to maximize force. His back foot comes off. He has no control now over moment or point of contact because all of his weight is transferred into the hit. He can't stop himself anymore. If Kuznetsov wasn't there, he would have just kept going sideways. That's not being in control. That's not gliding into a hit. That's launching. Now again, is it that super leap upwards into contact? No, it's borderline, but it's not the perfect clean check that everyone keeps trying to say that it is. That's what I'm saying. He left his feet prior to contact, not because of contact. And then there's the third and final element here, is the puck. Kuznetsov has no idea Dumba's coming. Dumba knows Kuznetsov has no idea he's coming. That puck is right there. As a left shot, Kuznetsov even basically rolls it over and hands it to him. Put your stick down, Duba. Put your stick down and poke that puck away. But he's not thinking of that at all. All he sees is a chance 
to hurt somebody. And again, I'm not saying he is intentionally throwing this hit specifically to injure. But when you think about why we have checking, it's to separate the player from the puck. The puck is right there. You are supposed to go stick on puck, keep your stick on the ice, and do both, puck and body. He goes right over top of the puck. It is right there. Put your stick down. That's all you have to do. There's no reason for his stick to be up by his waist except for he's only looking for contact. And that makes it, to me, a non-hockey play. Body, body, body over puck. It's predatory in a way. So to summarize, we have head as the primary point of contact. Again, the rulebook says principle, and I know that. I'm just pointing out the head was struck. It's shoulder to head. So that's questionable, whether or not that's enough head contact to warrant a penalty. The second element of an illegal check to the head is, did the player who's delivering the check do something to pick or target the head as a result of poor angle of approach or unnecessary extension of the body upward and outward? Well, I would argue there is unnecessary extension, a push or an explosion off that back foot. There's an unnecessary explosion outward and somewhat upward, but mostly outward. The last element is, was head contact avoidable? Well, first of all, we have a player coming in, delivering the check, ignoring the puck completely, skipping over the puck, making no attempt to play the puck, and then changing direction immediately prior to impact and launching, exploding into contact. So I would say there's a significant degree of avoidability there. To me, that meets the criteria for an illegal check to the head. And because of the force or violence of the impact and the degree of avoidability, I would call for a supplemental discipline in this case. Now, because he ignored the puck completely under my system, that turns this from a hockey play going for the puck or hitting with a hockey purpose into a non-hockey play, which means ignoring the puck and only put prioritizing contact. So that puts it in my three to five game suspension category. Tough call would suspend Matt Dumba of the Minnesota Wild three games for an illegal check to the head.